What's going on? I thought I'd do a little video on how I set up my sheaths with the 550 cord for belt loops. Um, I do this for a couple of reasons. It's cost effective. Some of the belt loop options out there are pretty expensive. You know, you're talking 14, 15, 20 dollars per clip. Um, for me to have those on stock just doesn't make sense for me right now at this point. Um, I mean, if you want to order something and you tell me you want a specific belt loop, I'll absolutely order it for you and I'll get it set up specifically for that option. Um, I really like setting it up with the 550 cord. 550 cord lets you do ambidextrous. You can do left hand, right hand carry. You can do candid carry inside the waistband, horizontal, um, pretty much anything you want. Um, there's, there's very few limitations to this. This is pretty much how I'll ship them. Okay, they'll come right hand carry, um, set up for about one and a half inch belt, um, belt carry. This is very secure. It holds it in nice and tight. It's nice and snug. Um, it's very stable on the belt. You can move it easily. You can adjust it easily. So, so this is this is essentially how they'll come. Right? They'll be it'll, it'll be knotted up. This extra cord will be there, so you can do other options if you want to. I'll have it knotted here, a couple more knots wrapped around, whatever the case is for the amount of 550 cord on there, just so you have enough for all of the options. Um, and then what you can do, you just untie it, right? So if you wanna go to a different type of carry, you just undo your 550 cord, right? Pull it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go from vertical carry to horizontal carry. So horizontal is pretty popular. A lot of people like it. With a Kydex sheath, it's totally doable, um, especially with the retention on a sheath like this. This isn't going to get knocked out. Right? Uh, you can hear that that snaps in there real tight. You know, I could shake this thing all day long, and it's not going to come out of this sheath. You really have to try and get it out of the sheath. I mean, even even just you know two hands pulling on it, it's going to resist. Right? You've got to either use a thumb brace to get it out, or you've got to do a nice firm snap. Okay, so that knife's not going to go anywhere. <clears throat> so if you want to do horizontal, you go to the back, right? Whichever the back side is. Now this one's set up for right hand carry. So I got the drain hole on the inside, right? For when it was set up for right hand carry. So that's where we're going to do our crisscrosses. And what we're going to do is take the 550 cord and you're going to go to the second or third eyelet, depending on how you want to look at it. <clears throat> and you're just going to do a crisscross. And this will be your first uh, belt loop, right? So just like that, you wanna leave some slack because right here, it's too small. Belt's not gonna get through that unless you're wearing a tiny little belt or something like that. So you wanna leave some slack in those, right? Not too much slack, but enough to be able to get your belt through, right? <clears throat> and then you're just gonna put a finger here to hold it in place so it doesn't loosen up too much. And you're gonna come up through the next eyelet and then all the way across to the very top eyelet. Now this one, you can do pretty snug because it's wide enough that a belt is gonna be able to fit through it. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, all right? Take this tail end, come up through the eyelet and out through the top eyelet. And now you see you got two X's on the back side of the sheath, right? So then what you can do is to terminate you can do, oops, you can do just a overhand knot on each side, uh, or you can, you know, connect them together and do an overhand knot. How I, that's how I ship them. So I ship them like this, right? Got an overhand knot connected to both. Um, it's just easier that way. It's quicker to untie. It's only one knot instead of two. <clears throat> and this is where knowing your knots comes in handy. I mean, this is, this is real basic stuff, but if you don't know how to tie an overhand knot, you know, or square knots could be handy for this, stuff like that. So anyways, here it is, set up for horizontal carry, right? Now, this would be for uh, cross draw if you're right-handed. Um, you could have it set up for upside down, strong side carry, so that, you know, it's on your right side and you would pull it out like so. You'd have it in a reverse grip, so you could do a pulling cut motion or a stab, very effective. <clears throat> or you can carry it towards your center line, right? So carry it you know, here, be able to draw like so, or do a reverse hand draw. Um, so here, I'm just gonna show you real quick. Don't worry, I'm not getting naked. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go up 
upside down. Right, so you see what I'm talking about with the 550 cord? You can't have it too tight, otherwise you won't actually be able to get the belt through. So that there is pretty snug, and then it's going to go through the top two the same way. Okay. <clears throat> and then obviously if you're doing this, you know, you want to tuck away the rest of this 550 cord. I'm just leaving this because I'm just doing this demo video, right? So right here, now this is a pretty obvious, you know, this isn't going to be concealed right here. Okay, now you could add something to the back of the sheet. You could glue on some uh, Velcro and then add a Velcro wedge that would can cant it out a little bit. So it would carry a little bit more low profile, but how it is right now, not really gonna be a concealed option. However, if you were doing it on like a duty belt or something like that, and then you can draw very easily in a reverse grip, right? So. The tension's no issue. You can draw and then reinsert the knife very easily. So that's horizontal carry. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay so that's horizontal and then obviously you could do that on for right hand or left hand carry however you wanted to set it up I'm just going over kind of the basics and this stuff so then if you wanted to undo it more okay so now let's say you want to do inside the waistband <clears throat> doesn't have inside the waistband loops take a smaller piece of 550 cord what you're gonna do is you're gonna come through the top loop right so I'm right-handed so I want to be able to draw okay I want to be able to carry this in a reverse carry on my strong side right so I'm gonna have the loops coming out the back side of the sheath okay so I'm gonna have my loop come out the very top eyelet okay and you're gonna take the running end and you're gonna work it through the second eyelet, right? What you wanna do here is you wanna leave it to where the loop goes down to the fourth eyelet, right? That's for a one and a half inch belt. You got a bigger belt, you gotta make a bigger loop. You got a smaller belt, you gotta make a smaller loop. You just come down here to the fourth eyelet, right? Hold on. Take your first end, quick overhand knot, Okay, that's gonna secure the loop, okay? So then you come down, fourth eyelet. Now what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna do a second overhand knot right here to secure this first loop. Because so I'm just gonna do these both loops with one piece of cord, right? So now you got your inside the waistband loop. Okay, see that? Belt's gonna go underneath, or pants are here, belt goes through here. Anyways, I'll show you in a second. Now you're going to take the tail end, you're going to come over to the top eyelet on the other side. You're going to run that through. Oops. You don't want to pull it tight because then you'll, you'll lose your first loop. So put a finger here, make your second loop, right? Make sure it comes down to the fourth eyelet. Okay, we're good. It's a little finicky on the camera, whatever. Another overhand knot. Boom. <clears throat> now we've got two inside the waistband loops, okay? And that. Right there. sheath in there right and you can move this around pretty easily okay so now it's set up inside the waistband carry and you can see these are a little sloppy so I tighten these up a little bit I mean it's still gonna hold the knife um, but this is this is pretty secure so this is tucked in pretty well uh, I know I'm wearing a sweatshirt but you know I'm wearing a sweatshirt you can see the knife if you really pull it tight and you're looking. Uh, 
just wearing the sweatshirt, okay, the knife's out pretty quick. Um, again, if you fine tune this, you can add, you know, a foam wedge that'll cant the tip of the knife out just a little bit, and that tucks the handle in a little bit. Um, also, if you're not as, you know, fat as I am in the midsection, that'll help. But this, I could conceal under a t-shirt, probably, uh, a button up, absolutely, okay. And again, very secure carry, that strong side with a reverse grip, right? So that's a reverse ice, ice pick grip. Okay, so this would be a pushing slice motion and a stab. Okay. Now, another that I kind of like is if you want to be able to put this uh, on and take it off quickly, none of these options are really going to work for that because it's, you know, it's the same as having solid loops. So you got to undo the belt to be able to take it off. So for whatever reason, you're in a situation where you got to take the knife on and off uh, or you just want the convenience, you want to be able to move the knife around as you're wearing it, whatever. What I do is I'm going to come from the the outside, excuse me, the, the inside, right? So the back side of the sheath, I'm gonna come out this top eyelet. I'm gonna come down to the second to the middle, right? Middle-ish eyelet. And I'm gonna come through, and then I'm gonna come out this bottom eyelet on the opposite side. And that's where I'm gonna make my overhand knot, okay? So now I've got this weird little S going on, okay? Got a couple of different options with this, right? So. Take the sheath, right? You're gonna take the 550 cord, you over. You're gonna take that 550 cord loop, and you're gonna tuck it behind the belt, right? And then the sheath behind the belt as well. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna take that loop and you're gonna come over the top of the sheath, right? And then that's basically what's gonna anchor the sheath in. Now, you're set up. So now it's quick on and off for cross draw carry. You can cant this, you can take it vertical, you can cant it a little bit. Still very secure, right? This isn't gonna be as concealable uh, unless you really fine tune the loops for your belt size, just because it will move around. Uh, that will make it more comfortable though. So you can do a reverse draw. Okay, or you can do a strong hand draw, whatever the case is. Kind of a get off me position to carry. And the cool thing about that one, it's pretty comfortable, right? So I got that one midline, okay? Wearing it, pants, t-shirt, sweatshirt. You know, I'm in Southern California and it's like 60 degrees outside, so we're all freezing, losing our minds. Um, but right now, you know, it's not poking me anywhere. Um, the tip sticking out a little bit, again, you know, lose the gut, that'll help. If you put a little wedge on the back side of the sheath, that'll push the tip out and the handle in. Um, but I mean, right now, you know, sitting upright, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna be able to tell that I'm wearing that. You can still access the knife very easily. And again, this is quick on, quick off, well, quick-ish. You don't have to get undressed, right? So you just take and pull the loop over the top, sheath is off like that, okay? Um, you know, I send enough where you could carry this uh, net carry if you wanted to. Um, this knife, to me, is a little big for net carry. A lot of people will say, nah, it's fine. Uh, I haven't weighed this knife yet, but this one's eighth inch, uh, 1075. It's got Taro Tough handle. Uh, started as 3 8 scales, and then I did the, the texturing, right? So this one's pretty light. Feels like it's probably about six ounces or so, just the knife. Um, once I get all our stuff back out of storage, uh, our house flooded, we're getting the fours done, should be back in hopefully after the weekend. Uh, I'm gonna weigh this stuff and I'll post the weights because I know that matters to some people. Uh, so yeah, that's some ideas on the 550 cord belt loop setup. Um, really it's completely up to your imagination. You know, that's just a couple ideas 
um, a couple of stuff, you know, a couple of setups that I've tried that I've thought about. Um, and that's why I do the 550 cord for the belt loops. Thanks.